This is a construction update for the week of March 23rd, construction during the COVID-19 pandemic. There are understandably many questions about construction in Somerville during our current public health emergency. As of now, all work sites must comply with updated safety protocols and requirements in order to remain active. Current construction policies are guided by the city's Board of Health, epidemiologists, OSHA, and information provided by health agencies worldwide and are consistent with recent shelter-in-place stay-at-home directives issued in California and New York City. Interim requirements for construction include, but are not limited to, all construction projects in the city have been required to submit job hazard analysis and site-specific safety plans on how each project is implementing the OSHA COVID-19 workplace regulations during the emergency declaration. For private building construction, the Inspectional Services Department is reviewing those plans and requiring additional measures as appropriate. For city contractors and utilities, the Infrastructure and Asset Management Department is restricting specific activities which has developed COVID-19 protection plans. For example, utilities will be allowed to work within the public roadway, but they will not be allowed to complete non-emergency, non-essential connections that require property entry until after the crisis is over. Repairs will be allowed. Utility companies are also implementing measures to ensure work does not result in emergencies that would require home entry. The city has mandated all city contractors, utilities, and the Green Line Extension team participate in a regular call to evaluate efforts. These guidelines may change, but ensuring the health and safety of our community remains paramount. Further measures may be implemented in response to this rapidly evolving situation. Improvement projects, Beacon Street reconstruction. MassDOT and its contractor, Newport Construction, plan to return to Beacon Street the week of March 23rd to resume addressing final punch list items and install pavement markings if weather allows. Green Line Extension. School Street Bridge Closure Update. Short-term closures will now be consolidated into two week longish phases, March 20th through 29th and April 17th through 26th. The schedule was modified to take advantage of anticipated low traffic volumes. These week long closures are expected to shave two months off the longer term closure, which is now projected to be in effect May 2020 through April 2021. Visit the Bridge Closures and Detours tab on the city's GLX website to see detours routes for motorists with a special advisory for abutters on Montrose Street. The School Street Pedestrian Bridge is expected to remain open during these preliminary closures for pedestrians and cyclists. For a detailed summary of upcoming work, take a look at the latest construction update from MassDOT. If you need assistance for a GLX construction-related matter, please call the 24-7 GLX hotline at 1-855-GLX-INFO or email info at glxinfo.com. Somerville Lab Utility and Streetscape Improvements. Crews plan to install the city's first Silva cells in the southern sidewalk between Webster Ave and Prospect Street. Throughout the week, contractors plan to pave the north side of Somerville Ave between Miriam Street and Mansfield Street. Daytime closures may be in effect at Miriam Street, Rossmore Street, and Mansfield Street intersections. Motorists will be directed to enter and exit via Washington Street. Excavation will also continue on the Somerville Ave McGrath Highway intersection. Somerville High School Building Project. Crews will work on interior finishes and final facade work at the western wing. At the eastern wing, work continues to sheathe the exterior and install mechanical systems. Washington Street Water Main Upgrades Early during the week of March 23rd, city contractors plan to test pit within the Washington Street Webster Ave intersection, requiring lane shifts and parking restrictions on Webster Ave. Later in the week, Crews plan to work on installing a new water main on Washington Street, starting at Hawkins Street and progressing towards Webster Ave. Pavement and Sidewalk Management Plan. Looking ahead to the week of March 30th, city contractors plan to return to Medford Street, from Sycamore Street to Central Street, to reconstruct sidewalks, which will require parking restrictions. Citywide Manhole Rehabilitation. 
National Water Maine, the city's contractor, is rehabilitating manholes throughout Somerville through the spring of 2020. Lane closures, lane shifts, and parking restrictions may be implemented as needed. During the week of March 23rd, crews plan to be on the following streets. Cedar Street, from Warwick Street to Franny Street, Central Street, Cherry Street, Cross Street at Pearl Street, East Somerville School, Florence Street, Glen Street, Lowell Street, Mead Street, Park Street, Pearl Street from McGrath Highway to Glen Street, Pickney Street, Sanborn Court, School Street from Medford Street to Stickney Ave, Springfield Street, and Summer Street from Cherry Street to Cedar Street. Additional utility work. Utility companies are responsible for notifying residents prior to conducting any work, but we expect parking restrictions and lane shifts due to the following utility work. Detail officers may close a road if deemed necessary for safety. During the COVID-19 state of emergency, utilities will not conduct work that will require access to individual homes or businesses. Eversource Gas will be at Berkeley Street and Holland Street, and National Grid will be at Bartlett Street and Pearl Street and Myrtle Street. This has been a construction update for the week of March 23rd provided by the City of Somerville and read and produced by Somerville Media Center.